friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and in today's video the background has changed. I've been wanting to change my background for a while now but I haven't really made the time but now that we're social isolating I have lots more time on my hands so I have decided on this new background. I hope that you guys like it and now you can see a little bit more of my outfit as well so hope you'll like it because hopefully it'll be sticking around. But the purpose of today's video is actually not this background. It is instead for me to share with you guys my past collection because you are really interested in seeing my high heel collection and I've noticed on YouTube lately that a lot of people have been sharing their designer purse collection and those are really good videos I love watching them however I thought it would be nice for a little change to have an affordable handbag collection video so just like in my high heel video I have divided all of my handbags into categories so the categories that we have today are my show stoppers my favorite handbags my my bigger handbags, my structured handbags, my fur handbags, fur fur of course, and the other bags, basically the ones that don't fit into any other category. So without further ado, let's get on into it. So we're going to kick off my collection with the showstoppers. First of all is this handbag, which you might recognize because it used to be in the background here. And I love this. I actually bought this when I was in England, in London, and it is from the shop Accessorize. And I looked at it for a while and I was like, is it tacky? Is it cute? Is it tacky? Is it cute? And in the end, I decided that it was cute. Oh, this chain's all tangled. Because it does have a little chain here and I just love the diamonds and the feathers. So I think with handbags if you're not sure if it's tacky or cute it's all about how you style it so I tend to wear this handbag with more plain outfits and let this be the statement piece and I love it so much the only thing I don't like is that it's quite small and my phone doesn't fit into it so I do have to carry this and then also my phone in a separate hand but apart from that I love this bag so much the next show stopping handbag is this one here it is from yes style and it is covered in pearls and I am obsessed with it it also has a rhinestone detail on the top here and also there and I just love this bag so much I use it all the time because it really makes any outfit look super girly when you add this handbag in and as you guys might know I'm obsessed with wearing a pearl headband so those two really match well together I always try to match my handbags to something in my outfit whether that be my shoes my belt or my headband I think it really can tie a look together so this is a beautiful show-stopping piece I did just jet my hand in that and it was cheap as well which you wouldn't expect looking at this due to all of the embellishments on it but it is a beautiful bag that honestly could have gone in my favorites category but I think it definitely suited the showstopper a lot more the next showstopper bag could honestly be a weapon if it needed to be which does make me a little bit nervous when using it but it is this Fear handbag that is covered in pink crystals. So this again, I get a little bit annoyed at, I guess you'd say, because it doesn't fit my phone in. So I do have to carry the bag and my phone separately, but it's definitely a show-stopping piece and adds to any outfit. I love it because it's something different and it's actually quite similar to what Kylie Jenner's handbag was on her 21st birthday. But this did not have the designer price, honey. This was from Misguided, so I love it. I just pick and choose when I wear this. That way I'm not injuring myself or anyone else. The next handbag in the showstopper category is very near and dear to my heart. So this is the bag. It is this super diamonty encrusted bag that is definitely a showstopper piece. And the reason that this is really sentimental to me is because this is actually the bag that I wore at my school formal. So in Australia, we have our school formal slash proms in year 12. And mine was on the very last day of high school. And I kind of see that moment of when I really started to get into fashion. I'd always been into fashion, but that day I wore a pink dress, I wore a diamond necklace and this diamond bag, and I felt so good. So it's really sentimental to me because it's just when I realized that I really loved all things sparkly. So I still use this bag really often because it's such a statement piece. And best of all, it has a chain. So I love that. So this bag is from Betts, I'm pretty sure. And I just love it 
so much and it's very sentimental to me. Of course, the sentimental bag is super sparkly. The lucky last item in the show-stopping category is this one here, which you might recognize because it is only new and from a haul recently. So it is this beautiful fur bag that could have gone into the faux fur category, but I feel like it's more of a show-stopping piece. So I love this bag. It's just a great accessory to any outfit and makes it look so glamorous. <laughs> category that we have today are my favorite handbags. So these are the handbags that I use the most. Kicking it off with this bag here from River Island. This is my go-to handbag. As you can tell by looking on the inside, it is very messy. <laughs> that is because this is the bag that I use every single day if I'm just like out running errands or just doing something where I'm not trying to have a full-on outfit. This is my go-to bag. Obviously, I'm not running errands and stuff right now due to quarantine and social isolating. I mean, in when we had our freedom, I could go outside. This would be my go-to bag. And I love it because it looks like a Chanel dupe. So I got this when I was in England and I actually planned on buying a Chanel bag while I was there. But typical me, chickened out because I'm a cheapskate and instead got this beautiful River Island bag, which I think is great. It is a beautiful bag that even looks a bit like the Chanel with the uh, gold chains here and the quilting on the front. And for like a pretty cheap brand, River Island, they actually make it look super expensive which I love. The logo as well, it doesn't look tacky or like something cheap and instead just blends nicely. So this is my favorite bag in my entire collection because I literally use it all the time. The rest of the bags in my favorites category are my go-to bags on a night out. So firstly, I have this nude one that is Guess. It is super cute and when you open it up, it actually has like all the compartments there. So you just put your cards in here, stuff in there and your lipstick there and it all does up nicely. So this is great when I'm wearing like a super loud outfit and I don't want my handbag to take away from that. This is definitely my go-to. And then if it's a night out and I want a black handbag, this is my go-to. This one's from AliExpress. It's actually super old and it's starting to fall apart up the back here because it's quite a small bag, but I forced my wallet and my phone to fit into it. So it's, yeah, it's quite small, but it looks super trendy when it's on. It probably is getting close to visiting a thrift shop instead of staying in my collection, but I just don't want to let it go because it's such a beautiful bag and really looks so chic with every outfit on a night out. But then if I'm on a night out and I want a white handbag, then this is my go-to. It is a beautiful bag with this silver chain and Obviously, it has my name, Annalise, on it. So this bag, I get so many questions about when I wear it. So it is from the company Saint Oddity, and I think that's how you say it. And you can personalize it with whatever you want on it. I got Annalise, but you could get anything, extra, Barbie, whatever you want. Not sponsored, I just love this bag so much, and I know a lot of people will likely be curious about it. So I think that it's great. The only thing is, is that it does have holes out the side here. So on a night out, I have lost many a lipstick if they've fallen out the side there and that is really sad. I'm obsessed with this bag, I use it all the time, and that is the final item in the favorites category. <laughs> on to the next category which is my big bag so there are two bags in this category firstly this one here which is guess my um dad and stepmom actually bought this for me when they last went to america and i love it so it's just a great bag if i'm carrying around my laptop maybe my book i can fit it all in here and it still looks super chic and super stylish and I love Guess because it's not too expensive, but I think it might still be categorized as a designer brand. I'm not too sure. I love Guess because they look super stylish, like these little key tags or something you'd see on an expensive bag, but it wasn't too expensive, I don't believe, and I just love it. So the next handbag in this category, I've seen lots of people discuss in my comment section on videos, and I've even seen people getting into arguments about it, so I thought I'd better address this handbag. So this is what it looks like, and a lot of people think that this is an Hermes bag, but instead it is actually from Teddy Blake. So when I picked out this bag, I did not realize that um, this looks like an Hermes Kelly bag. I had no idea. I just thought the bag looked super cute. I loved the little detail on the front. But then when lots of people were commenting like, oh my gosh, you have a Kelly? I was like, I have a what? And then I googled the photo and it does look a bit like a Kelly, but it's not. It's from the brand Teddy Blake and I love it nonetheless. I feel super bougie when wearing it and I love this lilac color because it matches all of my pink outfits and as you can tell from the background, I love pink. <laughs> 
handbag category that we have are structured handbags. So I love these because this is what I mean by structured. Like it's not squishy, it's just in the one set place and I love these. So first of all that is this one from Yes Style I'm pretty sure and it is super cute. I love the gold detailing and it's great to pair with any gold jewelry because it really helps to show it off and it's just a cute little structured bag. And then the second bag in this category Oh, I adore this bag. This is what it looks like. It is this beautiful Audrey Hepburn structured bag. And then the top has crystals. And then it also has a chain as well in here to wear with the bag if you want. And oh my God, I've just noticed my flipping red lipstick that I have been missing. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, I thought I lost these. Oh my goodness. I literally thought that I had lost these red lipsticks. This Huda Beauty one, I was actually so gutted about losing because I was like, great, that was like not cheap, even though I bought it like four years ago. And I was so upset that I lost it. I didn't realize that I'd left them in this bag. Well, there you go. Um, anyway, unfortunately, I can't tell you guys where this bag was from because I actually bought it when I was in Melbourne from a random shop in some random shopping center. So I'm really sorry, but that trip was uh, not a good time. Not a good time at all. It ended very poorly. But the good thing that did come out of that trip was this handbag. So I'm very happy with this. I love it so much. And I'm so sorry that I can't tell you guys where it's from. I will scour the internet before I post this video and try and find one similar to link down below for you guys. The next category that we have are faux fur bags. So firstly, I have this pink one, which is super cute and it's from Dolls Kill. There's not much to say about it. It just has some super cute pink faux fur on the front and then it's oh, holographic, I want to say, on the back or is it not hollow? I don't know. I watched Simply Now Logical's videos, but I've never been able to understand the concept of what is hollow and what isn't. So hopefully this is hollow. I'm not too sure, but nonetheless, I like this bag and I love that it has the detail of the pink faux fur on the chain here. I think it's so beautiful. The chain does like come off, so you can take it off if you need, but I don't know. I prefer bags with a chain personally. So I love this bag. And then the second faux fur bag you might have seen recently as well is this one here. It's from Romwe. If that sounded weird. It's from Romwe. It is just a black fur bag with this super cute gold antique looking handle that also has some bunny ears on it. So the bunny ears are kind of obsolete because they don't stick up and you can't really see them on the bag. So it's just a fun little thing that only you will know about if you have this bag or only I know about. But nonetheless, I do like the black fur bag with the gold detailing because I wear a lot of gold jewelry. So it always matches really well. the final category in this video, the other handbags. These bags just didn't fit into any other category. So firstly, it is this handbag here. It is a sparkly jack-o'-lantern. This is from Dolls Kill and around Halloween time, this is basically the only handbag that I use. Going to any Halloween events, this is amazing and it's always a big hit. Everyone loves it. I wore it to Fright Night last year, which is like a Halloween night at Movie World, and I got so many compliments on it. So it has this super cute glittery side and then on the other side it doesn't have the glitter everywhere just on the face so you can have whichever side you prefer I obviously prefer to show off the glittery side but that's just me and the other handbag in this category is also from Dolls Kill and it is this gorgeous beaded rainbow bag it is so beautiful and this to me looks like an art piece it looks like something that would be super duper expensive but instead it was from Dolls Kill and was not expensive at all which is great and it has lots of space for my phone which as you probably noticed throughout this video when bags don't have space for my phone I still use them but I don't love them as much so I love that it has the space and in this bag is a great way to add color to any outfit and those are all of the handbags that I own I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video be sure to let me know down below which handbag was your favorite and if you want to see more of my face or these handbags in action be sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload every single week and be sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and all of my other socials. They are linked on the screen right now and also down below. And that's all for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it, and I will see you next time. Bye! Mwah!